Hello, today we're going to talk about techniques of a network detective. So I'm Denise Fishburn, also known as Fish, and my absolute main love and main passion is troubleshooting ever since I was really young. So everything I've ever done has been troubleshooting. So we're going to take the 30 years of troubleshooting and I'm going to try to give you some information. So basically what I'm going to say is actually trying to figure out who done it in your network is extremely similar to being a network detective, which is basically what all of us are. We're network detectives. So what happens is first, you get called in on the case of the missing packet, either the missing packet, the missing packets, or the delayed or lost, whatever. You get called in. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and you're going to try to narrow to a suspect pool because your environment is really large. And the first thing I'm gonna say is your entire network is the crime scene, okay? Your entire network is the crime scene. So if your, <laughs> if your map of the crime scene is wrong, in other words, if your topology is actually wrong, your visio, your diagrams are wrong, you're gonna have the wrong crime scene map and that's gonna really, really get into the way. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and when the, when the case actually opens, you're gonna get on the scene and you're gonna do, you're gonna gather the facts, you're gonna collect the clues, you're gonna follow the evidence and you're gonna interview the witnesses. What you're gonna do at that point is you're trying to reduce the suspect pool. It is like having a pickpocket at the Super Bowl. Okay, so you're gonna to have to reduce the suspect pool. So you're gonna get a suspect pool down here. Once you get the suspect pool, you're gonna question the suspects. And then you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna figure out who done it. Now, quick question for you. What do I mean by gather the facts, collect the clues, follow the evidence? So a fact, for example, is that I am wearing this shirt that happens to have a little bridge here and the word Cisco on it. So because you know what is normal, because you have knowledge in your brain and knowledge is key, you know that this means that I probably work for Cisco. So it is a fact, it is a clue, but because of the fact that you have prior knowledge and this is huge, you need to know what is normal in your network. If you don't know what is normal in your network, you will never be able to differentiate between a fact and a clue, ever. So if you actually have traffic going from New York, and it usually goes from New York to Chicago to California, and you don't know that, and it's going from New York to Florida to California, you don't know that it actually swung because you don't know what's normal, so you don't know that that fact is actually a clue. Now let me ask you another quick question. We're gonna say what's normal. So when we figure out who's done it, once we get to who done it, are we done? Okay, now, again, you know what's normal and you know what's not normal. So since you know what's normal and what's not normal, you know that you can look at this and realize that I continued to draw a line right here. Okay, I continue to draw a line right here. That means that that's a clue. There is something else that comes on underneath this. Okay, and this is that you have got to learn You've got to learn from your experience. Imagine that we have a jewelry store that has a theft. If the jewelry store has a theft, you would think afterwards, they would think, okay, well maybe that security system isn't working so well. Let's get another security system. We don't always tend to do this. Now obviously again, there's space over here. This also is not normal because you know what's normal and not normal. So you know that having a line here and extra space here wouldn't be normal. So clearly then that is a fact that is also a clue because you can differentiate between normal and not. So here I'm going to tell you that this is all your book studying. This is to figure out what's normal. You know, if you actually look, a detective would actually go to class. If they were going to be a detective in jewelry, they would actually figure out the specialties about that, the way jewelry stores are set up. If it was going to be white collar crimes, they would figure out about that. They would actually do studying before they come in. Now, there's one small problem that we have as network detectives that true detectives never, ever have. If your best friend in the entire world was the suspect, would you be allowed to stay on the case? Absolutely not. 
you would be excused from being on the case, but it's our network. It's our design, it's our baby, it's our configs, it's our network. So if you're the routing people, it must be the firewall people. It must be the data center people. It must be the virtualization people, okay? So it's really all of us trying to protect the packets. So while I'm out here, I'm gonna say don't silo. You know, you've all seen all those TV shows where like the FBI comes in and then they say, oh, we've got jurisdiction and then the local police get upset. That's exactly what you're doing in your network. So if you ever look at those shows and think, oh, that's stupid, that's completely inefficient. Look at your silos, that's stupid, that's completely inefficient. All of you actually protect the network. So what I'm gonna say is you gather the facts, you collect the clues, you follow the evidence. So what's a witness? A witness is anyone who's actually seen the crime. So, and these are the easier ones. So a witness is anyone who's seen the crime or has not seen the crime. So if you actually know that it's normal that the traffic goes from New York to Chicago to California, then you could actually go to Florida and see that the traffic is not going down there. And that is knowing that, that a witness did not see anything down there. It's like little cameras everywhere. Obviously your be best witness is any kind of NMS solution that you have. So a witness, so that's really the best. Now what don't I have on here? What I don't have on here, before you can get called on the scene, you have to know that the crime has happened. You have to know that a failure has happened. Okay, because you actually have to get on the scene quick while it's still a hot scene. So we're gonna go ahead and say interview the witnesses. Now this is really fast. You could actually reduce that failure, action, reaction, recovery much faster. The more you know what's normal, the more you can bring that to here. And question the suspects, I will say that this is really hard, right? If I find out because I'm good at troubleshooting that it's probably the call manager, I don't speak the language of the call manager. It would be like at the Super Bowl, a detective actually trying to talk who's English, trying to talk to someone who's French. So you have to understand, you have to be able to ask the questions in their language, which means the router configs or the, I mean, the router commands or the firewall commands. So all I can do with a call manager is actually get it to here. But I am gonna tell you, if you really want to get from failure to recovery faster, what you can do is you can actually reduce the action reaction troubleshooting. And one of the biggest things is this to this, silos stink. And let's talk about one more thing real quick. You ready? Okay. So you've got a game, it's the game of Clue. So you actually have somebody up here and this is the lounge and this is the conservatory. Nobody saw that person in the hallway. Nobody saw that person in the hallway at all. Your primary suspect was here. The, the murder occurred over here. So for those of you who know Clue, what is missing on this diagram? What's missing on this diagram is the secret underground passage that actually gets you from this room to this room. So I'm gonna say I want you to, as soon as you're done here, I want you to go back and I want you to look at your crime scene maps because you're only as good as your crime scene maps will give you the information necessary. Otherwise, you'd never go look there. Figure out how you can actually reduce this, gather the facts, collect the clues, follow the evidence, interview the witnesses, question the suspects, learn from past experiences because history will repeat itself if you don't. Bring that over here and know what's normal and have a great time being a network detective. See ya.